he states, in my opinion, the gameplay is broken and ill-conceived at a fundamental level. Specifically, talking about vanilla. All right. The AI is granted cheat mechanics, which make victories feel meaningless. And yet, without these cheat mechanics, the map could be completely conquered in no time at all by the player. Um, I think it's a little bit exaggerated. But he, he, okay, so here it is. So the AI uh, cheat mechanics, they have a couple. Uh, they can recruit more. Um, they can recruit more troops than their relationship allows in uh, villages and towns. So if, let's say if they only have like five relationship uh, with a noble, they should be only only able to recruit like what three or four slots, but they can recruit f an extra slot. Uh, that's pretty much their cheat. So they can recruit five instead of four. Uh, then they also have. Uh, they also have the. It's not a money cheat. It's more of like a. Each kingdom has like this backup money that they all kind of pay into, and then when one of their clans falls down, they pretty much give it to that clan. So that's kind of like a way that they share their money, right? That can be considered a cheat. Uh, what else? They um, AI spawns with uh, what's it called? They spawn with a couple of troops. Like I think it's like fifteen to twenty troops. Right when they uh, respawn again, they don't respawn with just one, uh, you know, just the leader. They have to respawn with some troops just so they don't, just so they don't get into the cycle of just keep getting recaptured. Uh, what else do they have, really? The fourth one is uh, AI has uh, horses. Wait, AI doesn't need horses to upgrade, but I think they might have removed that. I don't exactly remember. I think they might have removed it, so don't quote me on it. <laughs> 